because you've thought quite a bit about dark matter as well. Is, is, do you have any kind of hypothesis, interesting hypothesis? We already mentioned uh, a few about what is dark matter and what are the uh, possible ch paths that we could take to unlock the mystery of dark, what, what is dark matter? Yeah, so what we need is some anomalies that would hint what the nature of the dark matter is or to detect it in the laboratory. There are lots of laboratory experiments searching, but it's like searching for needle, a needle in a haystack because there are so many possibilities for the type of particle that it may be. Mm. Um, but maybe at some point, you know, we'll find either a particle or black holes as the dark matter or something else. But at okay, the moment- Can you also maybe, sorry to interrupt, to comment yeah. about what is dark matter? Like what, wait, it's just a name we're assigned to what? So most of the community believes that it's a particle that we haven't yet detected. It doesn't interact with light, so it's dark. But um, the question is, what does it interact with and how can we find it? And um, for many years, uh, physicists were guided by the idea that it's some extension of the standard model of particle physics. But then they said, oh, we will find some clues from the Large Hadron Collider about its nature. Or maybe it's related to supersymmetry, which is a new symmetry that we haven't found any evidence for. In both cases, the Large Hadron Collider did not give us any clues. And other people searched for specific types of particles in the laboratory and didn't find any. Uh, a couple of years ago, actually around the time that I worked on Oumuamua, I also worked on the possibility that the dark matter particles may have a small electric charge, which is a speculation, but nobody complained about it. And, you know, it was published and I regard it more as a, of a speculation than the artificial origin of Oumuamua. And um, to me, I apply, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I apply the same scientific tools in both cases. There is an anomaly that led me to that discussion, which has to do with the hydrogen being cold in the early universe more than we expected. So we suggested maybe the dark matter particles have some small charge. But um, you deal with anomalies by exploring possibilities. That's the only way to do it. And then collecting more data to check those. And searching for uh, technological uh, signatures uh, is the same as any other part of our scientific endeavor. We make hypotheses and we collect data, and I don't see any reason for having a taboo on this subject. 